I'm not sure if in my last video, I don't know if someone wants to comment or not, you're unable to. I think it's just because it had this thing about, like, if you're cussing on there, I think I cussed. I was pretty upset. Um, because sometimes these thoughts are really be annoying some patients, so I was pretty upset. So I'm not sure if you guys are not able to comment on my last video about H. pylori because of that, or, I mean, I tried to fix my settings. Anyways, um, I hope you guys will be able to comment on this. Either way, um, I wanted to talk more about my symptoms and how it started. Um, I started feeling, um, just for the people that, you know, want to know how I felt. Because I didn't really go into detail with that. I was just, like, very upfront with it. Um, it started off very mild. I used to drink before, so I was thinking like, oh, this hangover, you know. So I didn't know whether to distinguish it with a hangover or I'm very sick. Or I used to think like, wow, you know, I guess I can't hang no more. I can't drink. I can't, you know, like I can't take the hangovers. I'm always throwing up. But something told me it was more than that. I completely stopped drinking for like a year now, thankfully. And I did it for my health. I did it for my health because I wanted to see if that was the reason why I was feeling as ill as I was. Because then there would be times I wouldn't drink every day and I still felt the same. So I was like, I need to stop drinking completely to see if that's the problem. Um, it wasn't drinking. Um, maybe drinking just like kind of um, made the symptoms worse. But no, it, that wasn't the issue. The issue was that I had H. pylori. I was vomiting, I would shake, I was, it was horrible, I, I would get like the stomach pains, it was so like tender, my stomach was tender, um, it would be like on fire, my stomach felt like literally, it still does, I'm talking like it's past tense, but I'm talking about like how when it first started, um, it was bad that I would start getting like, I would start hyperventilating because of how hot my stomach was I literally got into modes where I was couldn't breathe I seen my heart rate go up to like almost 200 something which can give you a cardiac arrest and I literally got stuck with my hands were like stuck like this it was it, the pain was that excruciating that it caused me to hyperventilate and not breathe correctly so that's when I knew okay something's up something's really up and um when I say I was in and out of the hospital, I was more in than out. I was literally there every other day. I still am. I don't go as much anymore. But I do get these attacks in my stomach that is very unbearable. And um, my heart starts racing, so I do panic about that because my heart is out of control. And although I know that the hospital doesn't help me, never have, and they obviously never will, I just go there just for safety precautions because I really do feel my heart beating out my chest and the stomach pain that I cannot control, the burning, it's like, it, it's just horrible, you guys. I've never experienced something like this in my life and um, as long as this bacteria stays in your body, it can cause a lot of things as far as like ulcers, cancer, also I've heard of it like, you know, damaging your lungs, damaging your heart, it, it does some damage, you know, and um, the, the medication is really strong too to like to treat it, and that also carries a lot of side effects, so it's like, you know, it's, it's a journey that you have to you have to be really strong minded and physically ready to not do anything for a good while because a while in my experience at least when I tried it I wasn't able to get up I couldn't even think I swear I could not think my focus was way off I felt like I was walking in like air there was no balance in my body whatsoever as soon as I stopped, yeah, that those symptoms went away, so I knew it was the symptoms from the medication. But again, I'm dealing with this whole problem with my stomach, and you know, I'm not able to eat. I'm losing a lot of weight. Um, just a few days ago, I was 114. Now I'm 111, and that's not considering how much weight I even lost 
because I actually was like, I believe at 140, 150, and I lost all this weight. I had this pain for about a year and a half, but I didn't start losing weight up until like maybe six, five months ago. And um, that's not good, you know, this is not losing weight in a healthy way. I just really want everyone to know that, I'm sorry if I cussed on my other video, hope that, um, hopefully you guys can comment if you guys have any questions, um, you guys can ask me as far, cause I'll be getting endoscopy on Wednesday next week and I'll be able to let you guys know how that went and how I felt the experience and that just so you're not too scared or afraid to do it because it's necessary you guys and it's just to rule out cancer and just as long as you know that you're getting rid of this bacteria it kind of takes away the worrisome and there's a lot of people who ignore the fact that they can have cancer and they listen to their doctors it's not about your age if you're a young person with this and the doctor tells you you're too young do not believe that there's a lot of people that have been diagnosed very young with stomach cancer because h pylori is a disease that can cause that or i'm sorry a bacteria that can cause that so you're at a higher risk of getting it and i'm not trying to scare anybody i mean i'm getting it done and i hate and i hate hate putting get people putting me to sleep because anesthesia is no joke and who knows if you might wake up but chances are you will because you have faith and at least you'll know that your friends are safe anyways um I have to go, I have a lot of things to do, but I just wanted to share that experience with you guys, and I'll, I'll continue um, putting up videos as far as like what, after my endoscopy, after I do my treatment, um, I'll let you guys know how I went on my side, and hopefully, um, even if I feel ill, I'll still try to um, update you.